In this training, we're going to go over user preferences in QuickBooks Enterprise. It's a little bit different than dealing with QuickBooks Pro and Premier, but it's a big reason why people choose to move up to Enterprise. You have a lot more um, of a choice as to the different roles of the people who have access to your QuickBooks file. It's very important to have those options. So you set up your users under Company, Users, Set Up Users and Roles. All right. I need to make sure to have my admin password available. So you have here you, your user list and which roles are assigned to each of your users. You can also, a lot of people ask, can I print out the permissions list? You can view their permissions by clicking this here. Okay, I'm displaying it. So it gives you a printout. So you might want to print this out and put it in their employee file for their different permissions as they move to different roles in the company. Then you also have your role list over here. And these are the standard roles that come with QuickBooks Enterprise. But you can always choose to, if you have an accounts payable person, duplicate this role. And it pulls over all of the same information. But you're going to say AP Clerk instead. OK. So it gives me that same role. It's just AP Clerk. And then I can go in and edit what the AP clerk has access to, as opposed to what the accounts payable person has access to. All right, so I'm going to stick with AP clerk for now, but go through all of the different levels of access that you can grant to someone in QuickBooks Enterprise. Okay, so first, under the accounting section, do they have access to the asset accounts? Can they view the asset accounts or can they not? Do they have the ability to print the asset accounts. Okay, that's other current assets, all you know, other assets, bank accounts, everything. Can they edit closed transactions? Yes or no? It's a pretty simple one there. So they have access to the equity accounts, full, yes, or they have partial. They can view them, but they can't print them. So they have access to general journal entries. They can view them and they can create them but they can't modify, delete, or print them. It's a pretty high level of access. Liability accounts, same as with asset accounts. Can you view or print them? Yes or no. Fixed assets, do they have access to manage them? Yes or no. And that's the fixed asset manager, not just creating a fixed asset. And then also the working trial balance, do they have access to that? Yes or no. So that's all under accounting. Under banking, okay. You would have in here under your bank accounts. I'm actually going to close out of this real quick and create a new bank account so that you can see. So I have bank account A. And then I'm also going to create bank account B. All right. So when I go back into my set up users and roles, and I close, go into my role list, and I choose my AP clerk, and I choose edit. Now when I choose banking, notice that bank accounts has a little plus symbol next to it before it didn't. And why is that? Because it picks up your bank accounts. So this AP clerk can have access to bank account A. They can view bank account A. I don't want her printing anything or him printing anything but I don't want them having any access to bank account B. And that's a great added feature. Checks, do they have any access to checks? Can they create checks? Can they print checks? Credit card accounts, can they see the credit card accounts and can they print the information from there? Charges, credit card charges, can they create them, modify or delete them? Deposits, most AP clerks don't do anything with deposits, so we're gonna leave that out. Can they have access to the loan manager? Do they have access to online banking? Do they have access to reconcile the bank account? Probably not. Do they have access to transferring funds? So can they create a transfer of funds? But maybe they can't. And they can modify a transfer of funds, but they can't delete any transfer of funds. We're going to say none. Okay. Going into the centers, these are your different, you know, your different lists, your customer list, your employee list, your vendor list, centers. So they have access to the customer list. They can view the customer list, but they can't view the balances. 
and they can't print the list. Um, they can create customers, but they can't modify or delete them. So you have that. Employees, you might want to let them view the list, but they can't view any payroll information. They can't print your employee list. They can't create new employees. Then in the vendor center we have here, they can view the list. They can create entries and modify entries and delete entries, but I don't want them printing my vendor list necessarily, but I do want them seeing the balance. Okay. Under company here, can they sign up for billing solutions? Not something that they'd be doing. The company information, can they modify the company information? No, we don't want that. Can they have access to company preferences? Again, this is just setting for the AP clerk, but I go through all of these because you have to remember, sometimes you have somebody who might be at the admin level who needs to have access to company preferences in their login. Can they enter vehicle mileage? Can they find transactions using that control F feature? Can they set up business planning and business budgets and forecasts? Yes or no, it's all full or none. Can they print labels? Can they have remote access? And that's through QuickBooks, not using like a go to my PC or something like that. That's only remote access through the QuickBooks Enterprise area. Can they set the closing date or password? Can they set up online banking? And can they synchronize their clients, their contacts, I'm sorry, with QuickBooks Enterprise? So meaning that, you know, the, the information from their Outlook goes into the enterprise. All right, under customers and receivables, this is a long list. So I'm going to go through them, kind of jump. Accounts receivable accounts, do they have access to them? Similar to an asset account, we were talking about before, view or print rights or no rights. Assess finance charges, can they do that? Billable time and cost, can they do that? Can they change item prices? Give credit card refunds, they can create credit card refunds, but they cannot modify or delete them, whatever the choice may be credit memos, estimates, invoices. All of these are, you have view, create, modify, delete, and print rights, or not. Override, can they override a credit limit? Yes or no. Can they receive payments? Can they create sales orders, print them, modify them? Same with sales receipts. Same with statement charges. Can they create statements? Yes or no. Do they have access to the undeposited funds account? Do they have viewing rights or they have printing rights to that? Do they have access to credit card numbers? Can they view credit card numbers? Most of the time you want to leave those at none. All right. Employees and payroll. Do they have access to the employee organizer? Again, only part of QuickBooks Enterprise unless you purchase it as an add-on to Pro and Premier. Do they have access to paychecks? Create, modify, delete, print. Maybe they can create and modify them, but I don't want them to delete them, and I don't want them to be printing them. Do they have access to making payroll adjustments? Do they have access to making payroll liabilities? Can they print them? Payroll liabilities mean print the checks, or payroll liability checks, or can they do ePay? Payroll service activities, do they have access to the payroll service activities, meaning can they download the updates, all that fun stuff? Do they have access to the payroll tax forms? Can they print them and e-file them? Now under file, this is to your actual QuickBooks file. Can they create a backup of your file? Yes or no. Can they clean up your company data? Please choose no. <laughs> that is not something you want anybody having access to except for the admin, let's say, you know, person who's, who's responsible for the entire company file. Can they export anything? Can they export your list to IAF file? Can you import anything? Can you rebuild the file, meaning after you do a verify of data, it tells you you need to rebuild the file. Can they do that? Can they have access to the shipping department, shipping area? They have access to um, verifying data, making sure that the company file is combed its hair. You'll know what that means if you watched our other video. Your lists, your chart of accounts, class lists, currency lists, all of these things. You can create, modify, delete, print, and view balances. Okay. So do they have access to these different lists that you have available, your item list? Can they print your item list out? Um, under customer and vendor profiles, you know, you have your customer message list, your customer type list. You might want to say that they can 
uh, view the list, but they can't create any new entries. What that does is it makes it so that your customer list stays pretty small because what happens is sometimes people go in there and they'll start to type something. They don't find the message they like, so they create a new one, right? Having the ability to view the list only makes it so that you, you can't have somebody or a whole bunch of people adding new messages or new job types. All right, so all of these things are pretty much the same. Vehicle list, vendor type list. Going down, you have your fixed assets, same thing. Can they create, modify, delete, or print? Payroll item list, price level, billing rate level list, sales tax, and your templates. Okay. Reports. This is an area where we get a lot of questions. Do they have access to view all reports? Modify or delete any reports, meaning memorized reports there. Under accountant and taxes, do they have access to the detail or to only to the summary? And what that means is under, I'm going to go ahead and hop out of this for a second. Okay, so under reports here, you have accountant and taxes. That's what they're talking about. Do they have access to the detail reports here or only the summary reports in here? Okay. Going back in and going to my role list and editing. So under reports here, again, it has all the generic areas um, of the report types, company financial, detail and summary, custom transactions. Can they make custom transaction detail and detail summary reports? All right. Um, inventory reports, can they view them but they can't print them? So you have a whole bunch of different choices. They have access to the memorized report list. This is a question I get frequently. If you give them access to one, you give them access to all on their memorized report list. So going through all these different reports, it's the same thing. Do they have viewing rights, printing rights, or no rights? Okay. Time and tracking. Can this role do a single time activity? Do the timer export? Do the timer import and also do weekly timesheets? Can they view, create, modify, delete, print them? Yes, no. And then vendors and payables. This is a big section, of course, for AP clerk. Accounts payable accounts. Can they view them and print them? Can they adjust quantities on hand for inventory? Can they build assemblies? Maybe they can create and modify bills, but they can't delete them. Enter bills, view, create, modify, delete. Item receipts, pay bills. Can they print checks when they pay bills? Can they pay sales tax? Can they print that sales tax payment? Can they print 1099s? Yes. Make purchase orders. Do sales tax adjustments. And can they transfer inventory? And that's for, of course, the advanced inventory feature in QuickBooks Enterprise. Okay. So those are all the different roles, all the different choices you have in Enterprise. You can get very specific on each individual. And then what you do is, of course, under the user, you assign the user. Joe is now also the AP clerk and no longer the accountant. Okay? So you say okay, and now Joe's permissions are turned to the permissions of the AP clerk. And that's how you set up users and roles in QuickBooks Enterprise.